Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So I wanted to do a quick video for my good buddy, Bill Radovich. Bill Radovich is a good friend of mine. Uh, he lives in Illinois. I had met him online, um, it's at least I would say five years ago now, roughly, maybe longer. Um, Bill and I connected because of our love for all things Sega, but specifically the Sega CD. Uh, and then we started talking, and we had tons of things in common in regards to music and just um, outlook on things. Uh, we're big God Lives Underwater fans, so we uh, we just really hit it off and we became close friends. So Bill uh, happens to make music, and he was very kind to send me his full album that he has, which is out now. It's been out for, I want to say it's about a year now, or a little less than a year. Uh, I can't remember when he when he uh, put it out. I apologize, Bill. Um, it's called Faith, F-A-I-T-H-E-D, Faith. Um, as I said, his name is Bill Radovich. I will include his band camp uh, down in the description so you can check out the album. And if you are so inclined, you are obviously welcome to purchase it or purchase a track or whatnot. Uh, Bill is also kind enough to donate to my Patreon every month just outstanding. I mean, he's a great friend and he really doesn't have to do that, but he does. And it's very helpful for picking up things, you know, video games and things for the channel. Um, so Bill's album is a seven track album, uh, that starts off with a song called she came back with a vengeance. She came back with a vengeance is something that to me sounds very, very reminiscent of old nine inch nails, which I think is a great compliment because if you weren't really paying attention and you just listen to this, you may think it's old Nine Inch Nails. I mean, if you really start listening to the voice, it's Trent Reznor-ish, but you can hear it's someone else. But the inspiration from Nine Inch Nails is totally, totally there. Um, the second track is called Decapitated in Ultra HD, which again has a Nine Inch Nails feel to it. Um, sort of when Trent Reznor gets a little heavier or starts yelling. Um, those are the two tracks to me that I felt really stood out that were my favorite on the album. Some of the tracks are uh, a little more mellow and a little more, they, you know, they don't have a, a, as much in terms of the vocals. Uh, I guess they'd be considered um, instrumentals. Uh, most of the songs and the background music and everything sounds very industrial. Um, another feel I got from the album, besides it sounding like Nine Inch Nails, is that it sounds like something you'd hear in a cyberpunk film. So the movie Nirvana is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite cyberpunk films with um, Christopher Lambert. And in the background, there's always this like mellow sort of cyberpunky computer type music. That's what this is like. So there is some heavier sort of sounding industrial computer synthesizer type stuff, but then it does go into this like more mellow, uh, almost droney sometimes cyberpunk background type music. Uh, one of the songs, which I believe is called Tactic 2.0, reminded me of something you would hear in maybe like Twin Peaks um, or Life is Strange, if you've played that video game. Um, sort of like a mellow sounding track, uh, especially near the end of the song. Uh, there's another song called Driving for Sex. That one is also um, an instrumental and pretty mellow. Reminded me of something you may hear in Twin Peaks or again, Life is Strange. Um, overall, I was very impressed. I think that um, I don't know what Bill's background is musically or if he's just doing this for fun. Um, I know it, you know, it was a labor of love, but I don't know if he has any music musical background or went to school for it or anything, but I, I'm impressed. I think it, you know, for someone uh, to just put out an album like this and, and you know, work hard on it, kudos to him. It's, it's really good. Um, the two negatives I would say about the album, and uh, hopefully Bill doesn't get too upset with me, is sometimes um, it builds up and builds up and it sounds like it's going to get heavier, and then it just sort of stays in that vein. I feel like, again, like Nine Inch Nails, where it sort of gets up-tempo, up-tempo, and then boom, he start, you know, Trent Reznor starts screaming. And I think that that would definitely benefit on some of the tracks where it sort of keeps that mellow or even keel. It should you know, put some punch at the end of it. The only other uh, negative I would say on my part is some of the tracks are really good and then they start going 
and then they just end quickly. Each track is between about a minute and a half to three and a half minutes from what I remember. So they're not super long, but I wanted them to be longer. I felt like they they start going, you get into them, and then it starts to fade away, and then you know the track ends. So um, definitely check out uh, Bill Radovich's album, Faith. He's currently working on a new album, um, and I, you know, hope in some way I can maybe be involved. Maybe he'll, uh, you know, use a, a voice sample for me or um, whatnot. But, um, yeah, check it out. It's it's pretty cool. If you're a Nine Inch Nails fan, if you like Twin Peaks or um, – well, how else would I explain it? You know, computer-generated type music. So not techno-y because it's not dance. More industrial, computer um, – but on the mellow side of things, give this a whirl because I think it's pretty damn good. So thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.